All right, I'm gonna apologize now for the wind. It's windy as sin. Um, it normally is windy up here at my house, but today we've got tons of storms. Anyways, um, if you watch my channel, I think I did a sneak peek video of what this is for. That is a three inch piece of square tubing that has uh, two sets of drill holes through it. If you know what it is, say something in the comments. If you don't know what it's for, hang out and you'll see what it's for. Obviously, it's going to go on the excavator and we're going to be attaching something to the excavator. Um, I also have this uh, handy dandy um, oh, spade bucket. It's a Wolverine. I didn't realize it was a Wolverine when I was going to get it. That's a China brand. I thought it was a Blue Diamond, which is still probably China brand. Um, but it's it's like three eighths or half inch thick um i think i'm gonna round up the the front i don't know why it's a square spade like that i kind of want i kind of think i want the edges rounded and i might have to sharpen it but i'm gonna see how it shoves in the ground i've got some fruit trees i need to move but in true china fashion it didn't fit the machine while i had the torch out here in the rock i went ahead i had to cut the the windows open a little bit more ground them down cleaned them up now i'm gonna blow a hole in this um, I could probably butt weld that, but I feel like I need to slide it in, have it pocketed in, and then I'll weld the other side also. Have this side welded and the other side. Um, what we're going to be moving with it is kind of heavy. So uh, hang out. Let me get this blown through, and we'll get it welded up, and then we'll show you what it's going on. Okay, well, got a little aggressive with that. Um, this is my top. I have some fillet weld going on. I thought, after the fact, I thought, well, I'll take the line. And I should have left the line. Uh, it is what it is. I started not to, and then I went back and took the line. I was like, oh, that'll give me a little bit, you know, just in case of the curf. And anyways, I've got about a quarter inch to weld all the way around now absolutely amazing that's right i'm gonna get this cleaned up real quick and we have a welder and that's what we do with the welder is we we uh, weld stuff in so i'm gonna figure out something to put underneath to kind of space it up so i can drop the tube in there i'll square it and i'll tack it on both sides flip it over kind of tack it in a couple more spots i kind of want it fairly plumb um, for what we're using it for and we'll go from there. So give me just a few minutes Okay I'll Let you guys grade me self-taught welder sorry I probably just gave you all motion sickness but I don't know is that picking up without a light plenty of penetration we're not burning the plate plenty of penetration plenty 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 I mean I don't know. I don't think it's bad for a self-taught welder in.
I'm almost excited. Almost. I don't know if it's going to work. So, I mean, it should work, right? Right. All right. Well, I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of grapples. You know, the five finger ones like this. This just so happens to be the three finger one. But I bet you you've seen a bunch of the five finger ones. Um, and they're by like Handy and Landy brand. Well, those are made in China. And those are actually knockoffs of this brand. These are made in uh, North Dakota. West Fargo, North Dakota. It is Easy Spotter, Easy Spotter tool. Um, if you look up their website, they've got all kinds of these things. I guess they're big into moving barrels and unique shaped objects. Um, they've got all kinds of them. And when I saw this one, this weighs like 200 and something pounds. I don't remember what, 265, 295, somewhere around in there. Sorry for the wind. Seems like I always have to tell you that. Um, but I already had this pin grabber and they actually have a rotator for this the rotator is kind of wide and it has two cylinders in it it doesn't have like a continuous rotate it'll rotate like 200 degrees so it'll pivot back and forth i thought that was all right i almost did it um it was considerably more for their rotator and i already had this and my thought was is i don't know i don't know if the grabber is going to work for what i want it to work for so instead of buying the rotator that i could add later these hoses they've got these little fittings on them i assume those go to the rotator um these are you know dash four lines um i don't know i'm i think i'm going to get dash six lines just because i can have a little more supply and then it splits to the two dash fours to run the each one of the cylinders um but i'm just going to run it up no case drain required all it is is two cylinders super simple um you can actually repin it to open up wider i think this way i should have pulled it up let me let me pull up the specs real quick i want to say max it'll do like 41 inches but basically all you do is pull the pins and you move the cylinder point up to here and it cams that open more um nice big heavy duty uh rubber deals on the teeth they've got some rock teeth for it but i don't need it i'm not picking up boulders and stuff like that um i'm actually going to use this for the concrete blocks that we set um some of them don't pick up um very well at all they they pick up like crap i guess the face falls down really bad that's why i figured i'd position it this way it's got the two pads in the front so it would help kind of you know grab the face and maybe not mess it up and then two i kind of wanted to be able to see you know on this side i wanted to see where my lines were so that way i knew how close to something i could get i didn't want my lines on my blind side um and the the heaviest thing this is probably going to pick up i think it's rated uh, to like a 3,000 pound tree and a 5,000 pound rock. Well, this won't pick up 5,000 pounds. Um, I'm usually picking up, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000 pounds with it. And this actually weighs as much as my bucket does or somewhere thereabouts. I mean, all together, it might be another 50 pounds. Um, again, it's Easy Spotter. I bought this with my own money. Um, he gave me a couple hundred bucks break on shipping i think but you know, i'm all, i always tell you guys if somebody gives me something or whatever um he you know I, they don't know me from adam and and we'll see what this does i mean if this does good maybe we can get something else they they have a couple things i really like i do like the five finger thing i almost bought it it was more money um but not knowing if this is going to work everybody's like oh you need a demolition gravel with a rotator I mean, I'm just setting block. I set it with a bucket and a thumb normally. So if this makes it better, and especially with some uh, really nice limestone walls, I've got a couple that I bid that I think I've got. Um, they, I'm using the milled limestone and it's really, really nice stone. I thought this would not scratch it up as much and it would make the walls look better. And then when we're doing ready rock, that's a really nice face. Um, not that we really need this because that block picks up pretty good, but the big block 
it tends to fall you know kind of on its face when you're picking up the tops i thought this would help us picking up the tops even um anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video i think the mouth worked out really good i don't know if you can see in there i've got barely enough room i got by by the skin of my teeth i thought that i gave myself a little bit extra room but that's that's about a quarter inch so i don't know if i could have planned it out any better um i actually I, I forgot how much i gave myself so apparently when i was designing this laying it out figuring out what i wanted to do i guess i had a good plan at hand and i went to the dot that i had on there and there we go anyways that's the easy spotter guys
pipe for a culvert if I got to do concrete pipe. Never thought about it. overflow a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make a trash top for a piece of concrete pipe like that and I'll cut these pipes in like two or three sections I'll pour concrete in the bottom of it to put a floor in it and then I'll put you know if this is just a small overflow I'll uh, I'll put like a piece of six inch or eight inch pipe into the side of it I'll cut a hole in it and then grout it in when I get to the job site but you know those things are kind of irregular they're kind of hard to grab i could grab it with this now and i'm going to have the excavator out there anyways same thing with pipe when i'm setting concrete pipe for a culvert i don't do it tons but when i do you know you got to grab it you can actually see my thumb marks on it i grabbed it with my thumb in my bucket well this is literally made to grab stuff like that um this one piece of walnut that's probably I mean that's probably 24 inches or so I mean that's the size of that pipe at the one end down there and in this ends probably 10 inches or so and I don't know how much of it you guys could see but I can pick it up with no problem with the gravel uh, no problem at all got us a piece of uh, three inch by three inch square tubing that's quarter wall um, and I don't I don't disagree that it's not crazy crazy strong but I'm not looking I'm not looking to do anything crazy with it I need to pick up wall block and set wall block that's it generally I'm setting either off the back of the wall or off the front of the wall and I'm looking right at it this is to help me set it with or set it by myself so generally I'm gonna be setting it right the way we're looking right now um, it would be nice if it would rotate he was kind of telling me oh you should have made it uh, dangle well if it dangles you can't you know you almost have to pull it into place you can't set it in place and generally I'm I can usually push them around with my bucket I generally need to set it in place and not you know kind of drag it and I I was afraid that if I made something dangle that I would I would almost have to drag it in place because I couldn't positively position it um, may I, I may change my mind I, I don't know um, but let's uh, let's go see if we can pick up a four foot block uh, I don't know we've got some of the big block here hang on Let's go over here and let's see if we can get some big block picked up.
probably do with that three inch up above. And I may have to adjust this to the bigger size. Nope, little bit. Let's see. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! No more fallen face. Anytime we hook the top of that, if you guys watch me set this block, it always the face always wants to fall down crazy. This way, I can leave it adjusted to the smaller size, and I can pick the wall block up, and I can set that top block now. Not that we're probably going to be doing much of it. Uh, we're probably going to be doing more Ready Rock, because this company actually raised their prices, and it's not as, or at least it wasn't as finished of a product as Ready Rock is. And I get it, if this was dangling, if this had a, a dangle device on it, you know, that kind of gives you some give. Um, it's not incredibly tight. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's tight in there. I was going to say, it's got a little bit of play. It's probably going to get some, some wear in it. But anyways, that is our new, new device we're going to try for limestone. I think it's going to work out pretty good. I still need to...